Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be sharing my current evening and morning routine for exams. So I've got at home exams this year, online 24 hour exams and I thought this video would be interesting. So before having my shower, I will set loads of alarms. I will wake up at seven o'clock, giving myself a little bit of a lie in because I definitely want to make sure I'm well rested. And then I will put my phone on airplane mode and turn it off. That's the last time I'm going to be looking at my phone tonight. I will choose my outfit for the next day so that I don't have to faff around with anything in the morning. And then I will get ready. So go have a shower without washing my hair and then go to the bathroom and brush my teeth. I've been loving using this coconut cruelty-free and vegan toothpaste. It tastes amazing. It tastes like you've just eaten flapjacks. And at the same time, of course, I'm reading. Currently, I'm reading Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. But then I head back into my room and get myself a mug of tea. Yes, I do drink tea after brushing my teeth. And then I will tidy my room because I definitely don't want it to be messy in the morning. And I find it really hard to concentrate when my room is messy. So this is really important to do the night before exams. Then I will close my curtains. Usually I sleep with them open, but I tend to sleep with them shut for exam night because I really want to make sure I get a good night's sleep and it's not so important for me to wake up early. And I will get a comforting book to read in the evening. On the night before an exam, I think it's really important to de-stress and so I want to read something which is definitely going to get me into a good mindset and help me get to sleep. So I don't tend to read the book that I'm reading at the moment. I tend to read a comforting children's book, you know, one of my favorites, something which is going to really relax me. And I would just sit in bed and read until about 10 o'clock and then I would put the book to one side, turn off my light and go to sleep. So then here we are the next morning at 7am, which is when I wake up. I set loads of alarms just in case, but I always wake up with the first one because it's an exam and you know when something like big is happening and then it's like really easy to wake up so I wake up immediately get myself some water as always then I would just read in bed for a little bit because for me a really relaxed slow morning before an exam is really important I don't want to stress and tire myself out beforehand I want to go in in a really like clear headed focused mindset which is also why I will definitely do some yin yoga in the morning and also a quick meditation and I'm going to brush my teeth and open up the shutters to let some daylight in. After brushing my teeth, I put in my contact lenses and also wash my face with some cold water just to wake myself up. So then after getting dressed into the outfit I've chosen the night before, I make my bed. So I made myself a matcha latte. I love to have matcha in the morning. I just whisk up the matcha powder in some hot water with some with my milk frother and then pour it into some coconut milk. And then whilst drinking my ice matcha latte, I will again just read at the table. There's lots of reading before exams for me because I just find it a great way to de-stress. For me, it is the best way to de-stress. And then after reading for a little bit, I actually make myself some breakfast. So I like to have smoothie bowls most mornings and especially before exams. I always feel best after eating smoothie bowls. I just um, find my body feels really good after them. I had a smoothie bowl, which I added protein powder to, and I topped it with some homemade granola and lots of fruit. And I just took that up to my desk listening to some classical music whilst I ate it. 
then I lit some candles. For me, having a really nice aesthetic study space is important. And this is because I like my desk to be a space that I enjoy being in. Um, surely that's really important, like enjoying the space that you're in. And so for me, lighting these candles definitely make my space a more enjoyable space to be in. So let's say my exam is starting at nine o'clock. At eight o'clock-ish, I will aim to be sat down at my desk and I will do half an hour of work. And this isn't intense work or anything. This is basically just refreshing myself with the content and getting myself in the mindset for the exam, which I think is really important. I think being in an exam mindset is, is an important thing. So I will read through my notes and I will likely write two essay plans just really brief ones and I'll put on a half an hour timer because I don't want to be doing loads of work and tiring myself out before an exam. So then right before the exam, I will go downstairs and get myself some tea and also some water. Because it's really important to stay hydrated when you're studying. I think it's one of the most important things always to have water on your desk in a spill-proof container so that it doesn't go all over your laptop and notes. And then finally, right before my exam, just in like the 20 minutes that I have leading up to it, I will again read a comforting children's book to ultimately de-stress myself. And it means that when I then log into the exam, I'm just so clear headed and I'm not panicking. Like I just don't want to panic before an exam because I find that that is distracting. And that's like the worst, worst thing that you can do before. And then after that really relaxing morning routine, I will get started with the exam and I will check the question and start working on it when it comes out because I do work best in the morning. Um, so at 9am, like the second it's released, I will be on the page. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Good luck if you have exams and I hope that you have a productive week. Bye.